welcome to life journey so i hope you enjoy the betrayal and the denial pick it up on my, on my youtube video my friend i hope you prescribe to my video because if you prescribe to my video it will open the doors of heaven and pour the blessing of information Today I'm be dealing with the sin of this world. As amazing in our society, is one thing that the that the people have done, my friend. What is the one thing? The one thing is denying that Jesus Christ is God. And when Jesus Christ was praying, he was praying for two things. He was praying basically for them to receive the the promise. The Holy Ghost is the promise. And it tell them to wait in Jerusalem until you've been down with power from on high. But listen to what Jesus Christ said. Jesus Christ told them that that of sin because they believe not that I am He. And it's amazing that in, in our society, listen to what Jesus Christ said. In, in, in St. John 16 chapter, verse number 9, ver, verse number 8. Let's say verse number 8. And say, and he when he is come, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Concerning sin because they, they do not believe in me. Who is he? Who is Jesus? They don't believe. When Jesus Christ was on this earth, my friend, people didn't believe that Jesus Christ is God. And they don't believe in the Holy Spirit. A lot of people think, that's why I say, are you filled or are you thrilled? To be filled with the Holy Ghost, you are manifesting the non-fruit of the Spirit. You have a character, not being a character, but having a character. And the first fruit on the Spirit is love, then joy, then peace. If those three things are in your body, your tree, my friend, the Bible say in, in 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter, verse number 1, he say that though I speak with tongues of men and have not charity, I become a sounding brass and a timbling symbol. What Paul is saying, Paul is saying you are making a lot of, a lot of noise. You are singing and you are making a lot of noise because if love is not manifest in your life, your tree, you are going to chop down that tree. So back to Jesus. So the Bible say that because concerning sin, because they do not believe in me. And the Bible say in Mark 16, verse 16, he that believe and baptize shall be saved. He that believe not shall be damned. And Jesus Christ said, if you don't believe that I am he, you're going to die in your sin. And how does a person die in their sin? They die in their sin because they don't, believe, don't, they don't believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Jesus Christ is the Messiah. How can you prove it, prophet? How can you prove it, man of God? I can prove it by going to St. John, the fourth chapter, verse number 26. St. John, the fourth chapter, verse 26 say, and the woman say, when he come, who is he? The same verse that's saying that if you don't believe that I am he, you're going to die in your sin. If you don't, the, the sin because they believe that I am he. So listen to what Jesus Christ say. Jesus Christ say the woman, listen to what the woman say. The woman say, and the woman said unto him, I know that Messiah cometh, hey, glory to God, is coming. He who is, is called Christ, when that one comes, he will declare all things to us. But listen to what Jesus Christ say. That's why I believe the Bible. I believe the Bible. Now, you might see on, on my, my YouTube channel, page or YouTube title, I believe. Now, this is one thing you got to believe. You got to believe that Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Believe that Jesus Christ is the Savior. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings, Lord George. Jesus Christ is the Father. You got to believe. Because if you, do, if you do not believe, you're going to die in your sin. If you don't believe, you're going to be damned. I didn't say it. The Word of God said it. 
in Mark 16, verse 16. Go and read it on your spare time. But listen to what Jesus Christ said unto her. Jesus said unto her, I who speak to you am he. Glory to God. But let's go on the top of, top of the verse number 20. What, what this woman is saying? Listen, listen, listen to what Jesus Christ say. And listen to what the woman say. Our father worship in this mountain. And you people say in Jerusalem is a place where men ought to worship. Now, Jesus Christ, now the woman say you people. So the woman was calling Jesus Christ a people. And listen to what Jesus Christ say. Jesus said to her, woman. Believe me, and the hour is coming when neither in this mountain or yet in Jerusalem will you worship the Father. Verse 22, you worship what you do not know. And a lot of people don't know what they're worshiping. They're worshiping a cow. They're worshiping a sheep. They're worshiping a goat. They worship statue. They, they worship a, a shoe. A, 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 uh, for horses, they, they worship a lucky charm. But what are you worshiping? You worship you, you do not know. For we, we, we worship what we do know. For salvation is from the Jews. But, Jesus Christ, but in a conjunction, but the hour is coming and now is when the, when the true worshiper will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeks such to worship him. God is a spirit. Do you see in verse 24? God is not an idol. God is not your car. God is not your house. God is not your spouse. God is not your children. God is not your money, honey. But God is a spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm so glad those that have prescribed to my YouTube video, you are worshiping not me, the prophet, not me, the man of God, but you are worshiping everything that I'm saying and it's from the word of God. The Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. God is a spirit. God, what does spirit mean? God means he's invisible. God is not no statue. God is not a cow, God is not a water, God is not the, the stars in the sky, the moon, as, as a witch's worship, as a worship gaze to. But God is an invisible being. He's a sovereign God. Look at what's going on in California with the fire. Only God can stop the fire from burning. Only God Hallelujah can 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 create a, a a a waterfall to mess up Texas, to mess up the, the Caribbean Isle. Only a God can do this. Your cow can do it, your sheep can do it, your statue, your Buddha, your Hindu can do it. Only a God. I believe God. It's amazing a society. We are so duped in thinking our money is our God. We think our nice, pretty car, a test model car is our God. We think the mansion is our God. The mansion we live in is our God. We think our honey we sleep with, we get warm with is our God. But your, your car, your house, your honey, your money is not your God. God is invisible. And Jesus Christ said one of the, one of the Ten Commandments, the first one, the first four is to, to, to don't worship things in heaven or under the, the earth or in the sea, meaning fish. Glory to God, because I'm a jealous God. And, if, and the other six is to love thy neighbor as thyself. But a lot of people are breaking the commandment every day. If you are a person that watch television, television more than you read the Bible, you are worshiping the television more than you're worshiping God. Because God ought to be worshipped. How do we worship God? We worship God by living obedience life before him. How a person become a witch? By disobedient to God. It's a form of witchcraft. Disobedient to God is a form of witchcraft. But I'm still on the subject, my friend. They don't believe that I am he. They don't believe the sin is. They don't believe that I am 
he. I believe. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I believe. And it's time for you. The reason why things are happening in your life because you don't believe. I'm talking about believe the truth now. Don't believe the lie. Believe the truth. Because Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And we got to believe in the truth, the existence of God. I believe. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. What do you believe? I believe that God is Jesus Christ. I believe that God is coming back soon. I believe the miracles of God. I believe that I'm a miracle and you can be a miracle also. That's why I tell people, don't believe the doctor's report. Believe Jesus Christ's report. He was wounded for our transgression, bruised for our negativity, and the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes you are healed. I believe God. If you can believe God, your loved ones will not be will not die because the doctor said they got two weeks or a day or an hour. So go home and die. No, I'm going to go home and live. The reason why Asa, the king, died, my friend, he died because he didn't trust in God about his sickness on his feet. And he died because he didn't trust in God. Who do you believe? I like to ask the question, what do you believe in? Who do you believe? I believe the word of God. I laid out my life for the word of God. Hey, glory to God. I'm not going to be tested. But hallelujah, I know too much about him to, to deny him. Hey, glory to God. I did in my past life because I was ignorant of the word of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But people, I met this guy. He told me that the only, he, the only way he'll believe the Bible is he got to see the sepulcher of people that was in the Bible. Hey, glory to God. But my friend, he need, he need to go to Jerusalem and see Lazarus. Glory to God. Grave. Sepulcher. How Lazarus came back to life because Jesus Christ said, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus was bound with grave clothing. And Jesus Christ said, loose him and let him go. I believe. And Jesus Christ said, a sin because they don't believe in me. Jesus Christ is a savior. And, and if you're looking for another savior, you're going to find imposters in this world. Yes, imposters. Because the Bible says, many shall come in my name and say, I'm Christ. And they, shall, and they shall deceive many. I'm not deceived. Are you deceived, my friend? Do you believe that Jesus Christ is a man? Or you believe that he's a God-man? Oh, hallelujah. He was man when he, when he walked the earth 2,000 years ago. But he was a God-man. Hallelujah. And he's God, my friend. And he's coming back. And every eye going to see him and even those that pierced him on the side. I'm telling you, my friend, you got to believe. And if you are a person that is, is a doubting Thomas, saying that I got to see the print in his, in his hand and his side, and I will not believe, and Jesus Christ appeared to him and said, blessed, blessed those that have not seen me, but yet believe. It's time as being people of God to believe God. If you believe God, the witches won't chase you. If you believe in God, the witches can't put no spell on you. If you believe God, you can move mountains. How about glory to God? And it's time for us to believe to see the miracles of God. God ain't even stopped doing miracles. Hallelujah. You are a miracle when God woke you up this morning. You are a miracle when you go into your job. You are a miracle when you came back. You are a miracle when, you, when God had protected you from seen and unseen things. You are a miracle. So you got to believe. I believe God. Papa, glory to God. Hallelujah. I feel like shouting. Can you shout for me? Those, those are watching my YouTube video. Can you shout for me? Because David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Why? Because his praises shall continually be my mouth. My soul shall make a boasting, Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, glory to God. He said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pasture. Lord is my shepherd, my friend. Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Who shall you fear, sister, if you believe? Because the Bible says, no weapon that's formed against thee shall prosper. Why? Because I believe. I trust in God. 
Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Do you believe God? I believe God. 